Welcome back to my freshly formulated YouTube channel. Um, people are always fascinated with how you start a radial engine. I know I always used to be. Um, so I thought that in this video, I'd take you through how we start the Pratt & Whitney 985 fitted to the Beaver. Um, it's not quite as straightforward as it is starting a flat engine where you just get in and hit the starter or turn the key. Um, because the cylinders are arranged radially, only that, around the crank, now the bottom cylinders can fill up with oil, so we need to make sure that they're clear of oil before we start it so we don't get what's called a hydraulic lock, which we'll talk about in a second. And the flight manual from 1957 tells us to have a ground crew person pull the prop through for you to make sure that there's a hydraulic lock cleared. Um, problem is, we don't have any ground crew people, so we'll get out and do it ourselves. So the reason that we've got to pull the prop through before we start the engine is because with the cylinders arranged as they are radially around the crank, these bottom two cylinders can fill up with oil depending on where the valves have sat and the engine shut down or well, the engine scavenged the oil and also held it sat. Because if you don't, you know, the bottom cylinders fill up with oil, then the uh, oil's compressed. So what can happen then is that the piston can't compress the oil in. The only thing that can give is actually the conduit, uh, which makes a very expensive bank. So before we pull the prop through, we're going to check and make sure the aeroplane has oil. Now the oil filler is inside the cockpit and a beaver. Plenty of oil in there. We run straight 60 weight oil in these aeroplanes. Um, it's like treat a lot of cold winters morning. We've got a cold winters afternoon now, so that's not too bad. Um, then the next thing we're going to do is go around the other side. And check that the bags are off. So we can chop ourselves up. Off, all the switches are off. Excellent. Shut the door. Okay, so here we are, ready to start up. So, force of habit from flying an amphib, always checking the gear is down, even though it's fixed in this one, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, we'll check that the fuel and oil shutoff is indeed in and lock wired. We've already checked the oil, but make sure the cap is still on. Carb heat's cold, put the park brake on, put the beacon on. We will put the engine instruments on. We'll go master switch is on. Bags are still off, throttle closed and cracked slightly. We'll push the mixture up and we will now prime the engine. Okay, so we'll wobble the pressure up. Not sure if you can see it or not, but we've got a fuel pressure gauge down here. So when it's sat for a bit, it takes a bit of wobbling. It can be nice and gentle on it because you don't want to overpressurize it, start busting seals. Okay, and we'll hold it at about four PSI. Low fuel pressure lights going out. We'll unlock the primer. Now give it four primes. Probably realistically likes three full ones, except the first one's never a full one, so I'll give it four. And I'm just maintaining pressure on that wobble bump as I do it, so it doesn't bleed back any pressure. And four. In. Make sure well and truly it's locked because it's hard to access once the door's shut. And we'll slam the door, crack the window. Okay, then we'll give it four pumps on the throttle because we've got an accelerator pump on this carby. One, two, three, four, back, and the slightest bit cracked. And because we're running such heavy oil in this aeroplane, if we start the engine off at too high of an RPM and until the oil's warmed up and thinned out, the oil pressure just goes through the roof and that's how you start blowing oil cools and that sort of thing. Okay, so we're ready to start. So what we're going to do first is engage the starter turn through five blades. Once we've turned through five blades, ideally that should have spread the fuel and air mixture through all the cylinders. We'll then turn the magnetos on. So I always like to have a good look around because such a, a big aeroplane, I can't necessarily see without a good stretch whether there's anyone in the way. We'll sing out a clip up. Beacon is definitely on. We'll count out one, two, three, four, five, and then engage the mags. Pressure on the move. And it lit off about 350 RPM. So I want to keep it nice and low, just fill the engine up a little bit, and you will 
team now. Without moving the throttle position, again, we'll increase to about 350 RPM up to where we're at 560 now. And that's just as the oil starts to thin out. 